Hi, welcome to my paper, Iwasawa Theory for Elliptic Curves at Super Singular Primes, a pair of main conjectures. What is Iwasawa Theory? It's a bridge between two mathematically faraway worlds, the algebraic world on the one hand, and the analytic world on the other hand. Since we're concerned with Iwasawa Theory for Elliptic Curves, Fix an elliptic curve E over Q. Let P be a prime of good reduction. We also assume that P is odd throughout this video abstract. We let AP be equal to P plus 1 minus the number of FP rational points of E. And we say that the prime P is ordinary if P does not divide AP. And we say that P is super singular if P does divide AP. We denote the cyclotomic ZP extension of Q by Q infinity. Now let's suppose we're given a Z module M. We can look at the P primary part of M called MP. This then has the structure of a ZP module. Now assume that the Galois group Gal Q infinity over Q acts on MP. Then MP is a module over the group ring ZP adjoint gal q infinity over q. If you assume continuous action, then mp is actually a module over a ring which turns out to be isomorphic to zp double joint x. Now zp double adjoint x is a very special ring of periodically analytic functions. What does basic Iwasawa theory look like when p is ordinary? Well, on the analytic side, we have a periodic L function, which is due to Maser and Sorrentin Dyer. It's work from the 1970s. It turns out to live in the Iwasawa algebra lambda, thanks to the theorem of Wuttrig. On the algebraic side, we may look at the p primary part of the Salmo group over q infinity. It's Pontryagin dual is a finitely generated torsion lambda module. Now the reason finitely generated torsion lambda modules are so special is because they um, reflect some of their nice properties inside a special ideal called the characteristic ideal. The Yosawa main conjecture, formulated by Maser in the 1970s, asserts that the characteristic ideal of the dual of the uh, p primary part of the Salmo group over q infinity is generated by the periodic L function of Maser and Sorrentin Dyer. The main conjecture is now a theorem due to Rubin, Cato, and an unpublished work, Skinner and Urban. When p is super singular, several problems occur. On the algebraic side, our problem is that the p primary part of the Selma group we kept talking about before has a Pontryagin dual that's not finally generated torsion as a lambda module. We call that lambda as cp double adjoint x. The corresponding problem on the analytic side is that while there is a periodic L function, Lp, it was constructed by Amis and Velu, and independently by Vishik in the 1970s. This periodic L function is not an element of lambda. In fact, there are two periodic L functions, L alpha and L alpha bar, neither of which is in lambda. Here, alpha and alpha bar are the roots of the Hecke polynomial t squared minus apt plus p. Using more advanced objects, Perrin, Ryu, Kato, and Kurihara formulated main conjectures at super singular primes. But we would like a main conjecture in the spirit of Mazers. Are there any remedies to the problems we just mentioned? Amazingly, when AP is equal to zero, there is a remedy. It allows us to formulate a pair of main conjectures in the spirit of Mazers. This pair of bridges links together mathematically far away objects which were discovered at the same time by two mathematicians who were far away from each other. 
Robert Pollock, who was then a grad student at Harvard in Cambridge, Massachusetts, found the analytic objects, while Shinichi Kobayashi, who was then a grad student at the University of Tokyo in Tokyo, Japan, found the algebraic ones. Robert Pollock called his analytic objects LP plus and LP minus. What are those LP plus and LP minus? Um, hi, Rob. What are your plus minus periodic functions? Let me, let me tell you. So let me take an elliptic curve over Q and a prime P so that the P Fourier coefficient of the curve is zero. And attached to this, you can make a piano L function of the elliptic curve, um, which is some unbounded function of the open unit disk. The, the main theorem that I proved is, in fact, there are uh, two functions, log plus and log minus, which are also unbounded functions on the open unit disk. But these depend only upon the prime p and not the elliptic curve. And this piatic L function can be written as a linear combination of these two functions with coefficients which are bounded functions, it was alpha. So the information of the piatic L function is really encoded in two of those L functions, L P plus and L P minus. Thank you, Robert Pollock. So the point is that your plus minus piatic L functions have bounded coefficients. In the case of elliptic curves, you can go even further and say that the elements of the Iwasawa algebra lambda. Sate, plus minus P sin L kansu toyu ii kaiseki teki taisho ga atairare mashita. Sono toki, どのような方法を使ったらそれに対応するいい大数的対象が作られるのでしょうか。えっ、ー、とこの時プラスマイナスコールマンマップというものがございまして、えー、それはどういうものかと言いますと、えー、マガロワコモロジーというものですね。ヒバサワコモロジーから塩分体の局所的ですね局所的なあのコモロジーからえっ、ー、と何か。その後、小林先生に主要層について教えてもらいました。どうもどうもありがとうございました。Well, the point here is that the p o n t r i a g o n duals of the plus minus s e l m e r groups are finally generated torsion as lambda modules. You can then formulate the main conjecture as asking whether these plus minus characteristic ideals of Kobayashi and the ideals generated by the plus minus periodic L functions of Pollock are the same. So, what about the general super singular case? Well, in regards to that, Kobayashi writes in his Inventionist paper Suppose AP is equal to zero. This condition is automatically satisfied for a super singular P greater than three. However, the condition is crucial for us. Our methods will probably have to be modified quite significantly to treat the excluded cases. In our paper, we overcome these difficulties and treat the general super singular case, including the case AP not equal to zero. We construct sharp and flat Selma groups whose duals are torsion and finally generated as lambda modules and to coincide with Kobayashi's plus minus、uh, Selma groups when AP is equal to zero. 
On the analytic side, we generalize Pollock's results and construct pairs of uh, pi gauss functions, LP sharp and LP flat. These pi gauss functions coincide with Pollock's when AP is equal to zero and the elements of lambda. Now we're ready to play the game. Our main conjectures ask whether the characteristic ideals of the duals of our Selma groups are generated by our pi gauss functions. We can prove half the main conjecture by invoking methods of Kato. This had already been done by Kobayashi when AP is equal to zero. The most important new idea in this paper is the following. We call that uh, Kobayashi and Pollock give separate constructions for the objects. We construct ours simultaneously. Let me give you an example by elaborating a little bit on Kobayashi's plus Coleman map. Given an integer n, we may associate local Galois cohomology from which there is a map col sub n plus that maps into a standard quotient of the Iwasawa algebra modeled out by a further condition that corresponds to the plus. Kobayashi then took the inverse limit of all these to obtain the desired plus Coleman map that maps from Iwasawa cohomology into the Iwasawa algebra. It has the nice feature that the image of Kato's data element maps to one of Pollock's periodic L functions via this plus Coleman map. The minus Coleman maps were constructed similarly. Now in our case, we construct a map col n at finite levels that maps into a direct sum of two standard quotients of the Iwasawa algebra modded out by a certain condition. When AP is not equal to zero, we have not been able to split this map into two components. Nevertheless, miraculously, once we take the inverse limit, the map splits and we call the components cold sharp and cold flat. And again, very conveniently, the image of Kato's data element gets mapped to the vector LP sharp, LP flat. We call that when AP is equal to zero, Robert Pollock's remedy lay in decomposing L alpha as a linear combination of his LP plus and LP minus. There's a corresponding theorem for L alpha bar. When generalizing his theorem, we decompose instead the vector L alpha, L alpha bar, and rewrite it as a product of the vector LP sharp, LP flat, times a certain two by two matrix, whose entries are defined as seen. It's amazing how sometimes linear algebra can come to the rescue. Thank you for watching. ま、<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>